what if you have a PDF and it needs to be filled in with form fields every time you sign it? So we want to use manual sign because we can't generate a PDF via PDF butter. It's, for instance, a document coming from the government or coming from the insurance company. You want to fill it during the signing, and that's why you want to add form fields on it. So <clears throat> that is an option, of course, that you add the form fields directly during the manual signing. But if the form fields have to be on the document every time you sign it, it's much more uh, simpler to just have a PDF with form fields and then use that one to manually, uh, to manually sign it. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to use the tool called PDF Escape to add form fields to my PDF. It can be any tool, of course. So if you have uh, Acrobat Writer or any other tool, then uh, you can, of course, use that one as well. Um, on this tool, it's very easy to add form fields. So if you want to, for instance, add a checkbox, that's not a problem. I just say I want to add a checkbox, and then I draw the checkbox right here. So I'm going to say it's... Uh, not checked, uh, for instance. So my checkbox is there. I have already added an, uh, a contract number. Um, so maybe I want the contract number to be uh, required. So that's a required field. I can even name my uh, um, my form field. So all of that is possible right here. Um, so in this case, four form fields, a text box, another text box, a drop-down box with some options. You can just uh, add these options right here. So if you want to add option four as well, not a problem, this tool can handle it. Okay, now four form fields created. I will download my PDF. And this is the PDF that from now on, I want to use every time I send something out to sign. Let's go to our manual sign request. So in PDF Butter, you have a manual sign request. You can just use this PDF and upload it uh, to the manual sign request. Go to the next page. On the next page, we configure uh, the signers, of course. So in this case, we just want one signer. It's just a demo. Maybe you have multiple, but that's uh, not a problem. So then the this is the uh, uh, form field demo. So uh, we have a title. We want to select the template. We want to select the template uh, for reasons of uh, which is the email that has to be sent out, which is the uh, maybe you have a branded email, maybe you have a branded website or a branded signing page. All of that can be determined by the template. So you have to select a template and then you uh, identify the signers for the manual sign request. Okay. All of that is now done, it's now set. So next step is to simply create a button to uh, generate the uh, sign request. When it's generated, you can of course view the request directly in Salesforce, and then you can see that a mail will be sent. And in this case, my uh, user is set in French, so it sends out a French email. And if I want to sign this document, you will see that uh, the, all the form fields are there. So I have my drop down here. I have my fields that I needed to fill. Um, let's say Igor Stuver. I have my checkbox that I can check. So all of the fields are there. And if I now continue and sign the document, there is an error because there is one field that's still required. So that's a validation error. So on this field, I now have to fill some uh, contract numbers. It's a required field. Now. Continue, and now I can, of course, sign my uh, document. Let's choose the signature, or let's draw it for uh, for this time. Okay, that's my signature, and then sign the document. And this, now you have a, a PDF that you can uh, use, and every time you want to send out a manual sign request, you can just use that same uh, PDF over and over again.